The time has finally come as the first official security patch for the Google Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7 is now available in the form of the November security patch. We're going to take a look and see what's been fixed and if there's anything new to be discovered. I'm sure the first thing you're wondering is what Pixel devices are eligible for the November security patch for 2022. For now, it's available on both the Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7, all three Pixel 6 devices being the Pixel 6 Pro, Pixel 6 and Pixel 6a the Google Pixel 5, the Pixel 4a, and the Pixel 4a with 5G. So if you have any of the above mentioned Pixel devices, then you should be getting an OTA update pretty much now, as of the first Monday of the new month. Speaking of the OTA update, the size of the update is roughly around 26 megabytes, which as you know, when it comes to even a small size as such, it will take some time for it to download and install. But stick around to the end of the video as I will show you the full ADB manual install process which although the full OTA file can be as large as 2.2 gigabytes for the Pixel 7 Pro for example, it's a much quicker process than waiting for the OTA update to be available, especially if you are eager to get all the new fixes and be on the latest update. Let's first take a look at the Google Pixel 7 Pro. In this case, I've kept the Pixel 7 on the October update as the OTA patch for the November patch is not yet available at the time of this recording. Now, the Pixel 7 Pro was patched using the ADB manual install process, which I will show you the full process of how to do that at the end in case you have an eligible device and have not yet received access to the OTA update. Now, Google doesn't directly list and show a changelog of all the fixes and any added features on most of their monthly patches. But after some research, it does look like three core areas have been at the point of focus, which you guessed it, are mainly based on bug and stability fixes to make the Android 13 experience more consistent on your eligible Pixel device. First area mentioned is the battery and charging. It does seem like reports came in with increased power consumption while certain apps were installed causing this issue. Now the battery life overall on my Pixel 7 Pro has been great and I've not noticed any rogue apps causing any unusual battery drain. But regardless, I'm happy to see Google doing all they can to make sure that the battery life is consistent alongside the benefits that come with the adaptive battery and charging preferences. Speaking of charging, Pixel devices have never really been known to have the fastest or class leading charging speeds and time, but regardless, this time around, the Pixel 7 Pro does seem to charge a little bit faster overall to 100% and manages heat and thermals much better. So I'm glad to see Google doubling down on making this a consistent experience even with this November patch. If time allows it, I might even redo my original Pixel 7 Pro charging test video to see if the November patch has also helped with the charging times. Let me know if you want to see this in the comment section below. Second area mentioned is the display and graphics. This looks to have been reported to mainly affect the Google Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7, but not excluding the other Pixel devices that are eligible for the November patch, but it looks like a fix was issued for the display where a green flicker would occasionally occur in certain conditions. Now, luckily for myself, the display on the Pixel 7 Pro has been excellent with no signs of any quality control issues. But regardless, for those who ran into any issues, as mentioned, the November patch should iron things out nice and straight. Still focusing on the display, it looks like Google have added optimizations to the display power consumption to improve thermal performance in certain conditions. Now, I'm sure this was mostly for Pixel 7 Pro users who use their devices in more sunny, hot conditions. Now, coupled now with the fact that there is a brighter display, it does make sense that Google is now making sure that the thermal management and display usability is consistent in more situations, especially when it comes to hot and sunny weather conditions. One last but definitely not the least when it comes to the focus area of improvement and fixes is the OS experience specific to the native Google Photos app. Google looks to have applied a fix to the Google Photos app, which was occasionally crashing when using certain editing features. I think the only thing I would love to see is faster processing time when analyzing and using features like portrait blur on an image and also using on blur. 
Apart from that, when using it in the correct situation, Magic Eraser is still clutch and works pretty fast. It might just be a placebo effect or that fresh install feeling, but it does feel like next to the October patch, the November patch feels slightly smoother and more responsive overall. Look, I'm happy to accept that this is just early days and all in my head, but in the long-term use for the new month, I will report back if that is still the case. Regardless, Pixel devices, especially the latest being the Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7, are amongst the smoothest feeling Android devices you can get right now. As much as the Google Pixel 7 gets all the attention for the latest November patch, the Pixel 6 Pro is right on the hills and also part of the eligible devices for the latest update. The Pixel 6 Pro mainly benefits from the fixes to the battery consumption, improvements and charging that came with it. This could also potentially mean faster charging times for the Pixel 6 Pro, but for now, I'll take whatever improvements come with longer and more consistent battery life, especially considering the Pixel 6 Pro is now a year old. A few things I wanted to see if potentially Google may have added to the Pixel 6 Pro now on the November patch. When checking the camera app, it does still look like the Pixel 6 Pro remains with the previous UI method of zooming in and out with the slider compared to the hard stops and haptic feedback introduced with the Pixel 7 Pro. Not sure if Google would ever bring it to the Pixel 6 Pro in a future drop, but it would be nice to see it on the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Next is the display. It still looks like the option to change the display down to 1080p is only exclusive to the Pixel 7 Pro, as the Pixel 6 Pro is still locked at 1440p always, with the only option to change the refresh rate down to 60Hz. For those looking to save battery in this way on your Pixel 6 Pro, unfortunately, the option is still not available. And I do hope Google will consider adding this to the Pixel 6 Pro. And photo on blur is still limited to the Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7's version of the Google Photos app. Apart from that, if you've got the Pixel 6 Pro, the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6a, then you also benefit from all the fixes the November patch brings. Now for the fun part, for those wanting access to the latest monthly patch to install and use straight away without waiting for the OTA update to arrive or for some reason or another, not getting the OTA update pushed to your eligible Pixel devices, then this ADB manual install process is the one for you. For this process, I'll be using my Windows 11 desktop PC. Step 1. You will need to enable developer options on your Pixel device if you've not done so already. In the app drawer, scroll down or type in the search bar for the settings app. Scroll down to the about phone section and in there, head right down to the bottom where you'll find the build number. Keep tapping on the build number until it says you now have access to developer options. Head back to the settings menu and above the about phone is system. As you scroll down, just before the reset options are the developer options. Now in the developer options, scroll down and enable the USB debugging option toggle as this will enable your PC to recognize your Pixel device ready for ADB install. Step two, head over to the developers.google.com forward slash Android forward slash OTA website, which I will leave in the description below. This is where you'll find the full OTA update file for your eligible Pixel device with the latest monthly patch. In this case for the Pixel 7 Pro, I have the unlocked model and you will see the code name Cheetah in front of the Pixel 7 Pro. Download the correct file needed for your eligible device. Be aware of your data allowance and ideally download on a Wi-Fi network with unlimited or enough data allowance. Step 3. Plug your Pixel device using an available USB port on your PC, ideally a USB 3 speed port and above. Allow USB debugging when the pop-up appears on your phone and be sure to change your USB preferences in the drop-down to file transfer for the option at the top. Step four, now you need to set your Pixel device into recovery mode, ready for ADB install from the full OTA file downloaded. Load up the command prompt app on your PC, then type in ADB reboot recovery. Make sure there is a space between ADB reboot and recovery, then hit enter. This should then restart your device and take you to the no command page. Once there, press and hold the power button and then press the volume key once. 
Once in the recovery menu, use the volume key to navigate down to the apply update from ADB. Step number five, head back to the original full OTA file downloaded and rename the file to OTA underscore file dot zip. Place that file in the correct directory, which in this case is the C drive in the users directory folder with my name, Ben. Step number six, now everything is in place in the command line type ADB sideload OTA underscore file dot zip. Again, make sure there's a space between ADB sideload and OTA underscore file dot zip and then hit the enter key. The install process will then begin with a percentage progress in the command line app showing you the progress of the install. Once completed, press the power key in the recovery menu to reboot into the main operating system. If all the steps are followed, then you have successfully installed the latest monthly patch using the ADB process. There you have it, your overview of the November security patch 2022 for eligible Pixel devices. If you found this video useful and made it to the end, then make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got access to the November patch on your Pixel device, let me know what your experience has been so far in the comments section below. And that's it for me, Ben from Lover of Tech. Be sure to stay safe and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.